Welcome to this quick new video overview about Emotion UI 12 against Harmony OS. I'm having here Emotion UI 12 beta version running on my global version of the Mate 40 Pro and I have my P50 Pro Chinese model running Harmony OS. So we want to do a comparison and I want to show you what are the difference between them. So let's get started. So first we start with the control panel. So we can see that both feature this new overview where we have notifications on the left and on the right we have the control panel with all the different options and quick toggles that we can use to turn on and off certain features. So these look pretty much the same and almost identical. The only difference that we can see here would be in this pane underneath there. On Emotion UI 12 it's called Device Plus and on Harmony OS it's called Super Device. And you will notice that we have the exact same yeah, applications, no, the same uh, icons for the devices that are listed here because I can connect my MatePad 11 with either Super Device or Device Plus without any issue. The, the MatePad 11 is running Harmony OS, no issue at all. And uh, I can do this also with the MatePad Pro, which is also ru running Harmony OS. The only difference is that you can see here on the Harmony OS side, we have this one icon, which, which when I tap on it, gives me this little overview. I can drag those to connect stuff together, get nice little sound effects as well. I don't have this under the device plus on Emotion i 12. Otherwise, uh, additional devices like those that are shown in AI Live app, like my Huawei FreeBuds collection, is shown up here as well. So let's go into settings to see if we find any differences here. We can see the settings look pretty much the same. Maybe I will raise the slightly the brightness here to make it on par. So they look bright, both bright enough. So we have a difference in naming, first of all. For some reason, it's called Wireless LAN or WLAN on the Harmony OS side. On Emotional i12, it is called Wi-Fi. Uh, they're connected to different Wi-Fi's, doesn't really matter. But what we can see is we have the same kind of icon set and the same kind of um, font used here on both devices, which is a new Harmony OS font that has been introduced with Harmony OS. And you can see that the settings, they still use a different kind of font. It's a little bit more bold here on the P50 Pro, and it's a little bit of like this old kind of styling. But also maybe because the screen is a little bit bigger, maybe it is the same font, but not bold. Uh, anyway, you can write down in the comment section what you think about that. Otherwise, what we can see here is, first of all, we go into Wi-Fi or WLAN, and we have the network acceleration option here on the Harmony OS side, which is an answer to the yeah, 5G ban for Huawei devices, basically, or the difficulties to get all the 5G technology they need. So they introduced a new feature in Harmony OS, especially for the P50 Pro called Network Acceleration, which when if you turn it on, allows you simultaneously to connect dual Wi-Fi networks or WLAN networks to use mobile data and WLAN at the same time to maintain optimal connecting uh, connection quality. And I can turn in theory, I can turn this on. I don't see here a way to turn it on right now. I can turn it on for specific applications that we can see here listed, like the App Gallery, Huawei Health, Huawei Club, Huawei Video, Me Time, and so on. So this is a possibility that I have here to set up if I want to set it up. This is one of the uh, things here. Then we have Super Devices here and Device Plus here. I showed you already how it looks in the Control Center. The rest looks basically the same. Then when we look at the device plus and super devices, the same thing, the same name, the same of everything basically. But when we go under more settings, we can see we have much more features, no, not much more feature, one feature more, like multi-device task center. And this is a feature that I showed you already that allows me, if I go into the multitasking overview, to see my other devices here. For example, my MatePad Pro that also supports this feature. And I can switch to this and it will show up then the tasks of the MatePad Pro, the compatible tasks of the MatePad Pro. In theory, all the apps should work. Right now, it's only the music app that is working for this 
and I can also turn or I think it's called hop over the music app from my Mate uh, from my P50 Pro to my MatePad Pro. And this feature is missing on the Emotion i12. And this is not the only feature, this is a feature, feature that you can see here. One other feature that is missing on Emotion i12, at least currently, is the possibility to also connect to different camera systems. I also made a video about it, um, which is also a super device feature for now. Otherwise, they look pretty, pretty similar when it comes to uh, these kinds of things. When we take a look at more connections, we can see also a subtle difference here. For example, here we have a feature that is not available on Harmony S anymore. It's called Huawei Beam. Huawei Beam is an option. Here you can see transfer files by touching two NFC compatible devices together, usually back to back. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi may be enabled automatically prior to transfer. So this is an option where if you want to share something from your gallery, for example, you can do so. Just choose Huawei Beam, put this uh, on the back of another Huawei device that has Huawei Beam, doesn't work with the P50 Pro anymore, and then it will just transfer the files over. Nice, interesting idea. Actually, I really never used it. I think maybe one time to test it out. Then what else do we have? We have a difference here. We can see in the second section that on Harmony S we have high car smart mobility, which is the new effort from Huawei to also go into the automotive area and to connect to various different devices. So I have the option here as well. And you have the option for certain Chinese brands to connect with high car smart mobility. Uh, probably at one point, uh, this will be supported in some brands that are available globally as well. Uh, the rest is almost the same, VPN, private DNS, no difference here. Uh, when we want to take a look at other stuffs like uh, home screen and uh, wallpaper, there's no difference at all. It's basically the same. We have maybe a different than theme, theming, but uh, it is not much of a difference. I will skip over those who are basically the same. Now let's go to display and brightness. And here we have a display uh, setting that is not available on the P50 Pro. And I really wish they would add this eventually because it can help sometimes. First of all, what you can see is that we have the dark mode. Here has a scheduling option on Harmony OS. On Emotion i12, we can only turn the dark mode on or off. We don't have a scheduling feature, just like I set it here, for example, roughly to uh, yeah, sun going down and sun going up or can enable it all day long or apply it to all applications. So the dark mode has more features and more configuration options under Harmony OS. Icon for mode is the same. Text style is something where we can choose uh, different text styles under Harmony OS. So it's opening up a theme store and we can download different text styles if we want to something new and probably will come at one point also to Emotion i12. Uh, when we take a look and further things you can see almost the same under more display settings, we find some extras on the Mate 40 Pro, which is the edges option, which allows us to uh, configure certain applications to not, to not go over the edge. As you can see here, show edges or not, or hide the edges. And this is because we have this 88, I think, degree uh, curved screen here. We have a slight curved screen here as well, but uh, yeah, in this case, I don't have problems with like uh, accidental touches on the edges, but I really would wish that we also have such an option to configure basically to make the edges um, not so sensitive for certain apps at least. So this is basically, the rest is the same. This is the basic difference of display and um, brightness. Um, then what else do we have? Ah, wait a second, under display, we also have the option under more display settings. I think it is under full display, nope, carrier name, cutouts. It's basically the same. We have a slight difference here, only full display. I already showed you. Where is it? Um, we have a show widgets bar available under settings for the for the home screen i think it is home screen settings exactly so let's go home screen settings and here we have the option first of all to set up 
various different layouts for home screen auto align. And here is a new feature in Harmony as show widgets bar. I can demonstrate it to you. So if I'm here and I want to show a widget bar, I can slide over and to get a widget bar over my camera. And I don't have this feature at all here on Emotion UI 12. So this is the slight difference. You can turn it on or off this feature here in the home screen settings. Otherwise we have Assistant today, of course, as well on the home screen. Now it went out of the app. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is battery. So let's take a look at the battery settings. And there is interesting, it looks almost like the same, but we have a slight difference. Like you can see here on Emotion UI 12, we have this app launch entry that is missing on Harmony OS because the app launch entry is for, uh, you can usually find under the apps and services. So we have the app launch option here, which uh, gives us the possibility for uh, saying I want it, I want an app to manage it automatically or I want it to be managed manually. And if you do it manually, let's just demonstrate it. I can say auto launch the app on start, allow it to be launched by other applications and allow it to keep running in the background. And I use this, for example, for advanced micro. You can do the same here, but you don't find the app launch option under the battery section. This is uh, basically everything that you can see here. The rest is the same. There's some specific changes, maybe more battery settings. You can see there's also the uh, maximum capacity that it will list now of your battery, 100% health on the P50 Pro and on the Mate 40 Pro, it's still evaluating. I'm not sure if it's a bug of the beta version because I think I have it already a few days on here. Otherwise we have the same options here, basically. There is another option that we can find under uh, apps and apps and services. So, so you can see there's a difference in the naming. Here's just apps and here's apps and services. And when we click on this, we can see there is a difference. So apps and app launch is here. App launch, by the way, the same thing that we have here uh, also in the battery uh, department. So we can turn off certain things to be managed automatically. Then we have services on Harmony OS that is missing on Emotion UI 12. Here we have some special services just like health, smart remote, and uh, I think it's an AI live uh, thing service that we can turn on and off uh, if we want to. So this is new and we have automatic updates for the services as well if we want to. Then we have permission managers, the same default apps is the same app assistant app twin, uh, which allows us to uh, clone certain apps. In this case, it's WeChat and QQ to have multiple accounts. Uh, otherwise we have the app settings, which is basically exactly the same for all the Huawei apps. We have some special settings that we can set up if we want to. Then the next thing that I can show you is we have here on the left, you can see we have three green icons here, security, privacy, and location. And on the right on Harmony, as we only have security and privacy, where's the location one? The location one is hiding under privacy. You can see that we have location services on here and I can click on this and go into the location settings. If I click on location settings here, you can see we have the same menu. So they've restructured the menu a little bit, made this a little bit smaller by removing it and putting it in under the privacy tab, which makes more sense in my sense, in, in my opinion. But yeah, you can tell me what you want uh, to know about this. Um, what else do we have on the security? There's a slight difference, but this has something to do with Chinese devices. Emergency warnings are here built in. So earthquake warnings, uh, find shelter warnings, emergency contacts and so forth. So on, I can set up only for Chinese uh, regions like Sichuan region and so on. You can see I will go to the Chinese website to uh, enable the alerts here for emergency warnings. Otherwise we have password world, we have secure keys which is a setting increases security of transactions to make in third-party apps to restoring blah 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 uh, i don't know what it is um, we have trust space here which is an option that allows you to um, yeah create and trusted space for mobile payments secure by monitoring your wi-fi connection and so on you can turn it on and then your um, internet connection will be monitored i would highly suggest to turn it off because you know where the data is going uh, then we have app lock and save block fake mo uh, mobile towers also a feature only for the Chinese market. Um, if you want to block 
yeah, fake mobile towers and something like this, it is possible here to do so. Under more settings, we have exactly the same thing. There's nothing uh, that is completely different uh, to what we had before. Then we have another thing that you can find under uh, accessibility. So the rest is basically the same under accessibility features. We will find a new uh, thing, at least a new thing on the Mate 40 Pro, not new, um, let's say different, the support for stylus. So we have the option to use a stylus on the Mate 40 Pro. There is support for this. You can just enable it here. And if you have a stylus, you can use it on this screen, which is pretty nice and handy. There's no stylus support for the P50 Pro. So this is the hardware difference. You won't find it, for example, on the Nova 9 that comes also with uh, Motion i12. And this is almost everything. There's only slight difference under system. When we go into system, we have a backup and restore function. We don't have the backup and restore function. We only have phone clone here. So if you're even searching for backup and restore, you will end up with phone clone. There's no way to call this uh, data backup tool uh, backup and restore for the external storage or something like this uh, on Harmony OS anymore, which is a bit weird, I would say. Even if I search, you can see it. If I search, go into search and search for the backup utility. Back up, you can see we have backup and restore here and we have only phone clone here. I don't know why that is. The backup utility is installed. We can check apps and services, go to apps. We do this here as well, so you get a glance of this and let's search for backup, show system processes and let's search for backup here. You can type in correctly. Here we have the backup app and here the backup app is missing for some reason. So on Harmony OS, the backup app is missing for some reason that I really don't get why it is missing here because I did not deinstall or remove it here from the device. So it is missing on my Harmony S device. You can write down if it's the same for you or not. That is basically everything for this little video and the differences between Emotional i12 versus Harmony OS when it comes to the UI and some settings and features. And I think I showed you more than enough to yeah, give you an impression that Emotion i12 is basically Harmony OS in a lighter form with some missing features uh, only. And this is more in regards to the Harmony OS specific features like multitask uh, throughout different devices or the video option that allows us to use various different videos, uh, video cameras or cameras for video recording uh, over the Harmony OS or Open Harmony framework. That's basically everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.